Hey Virgos, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly love spread for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. Um, also, I've added something new to the website. It should be on the website by the time I upload this video. Um, I've got something new. It's a 10-minute tarot reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is different. Um, this is something that will be available every single day at any time. All right, guys. So um, this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. All right, guys. This is what we, what we can expect. Okay. So for love, this is a love reading for the week. I feel like some of you have a stalker, some of you have somebody who's obsessed with you, somebody who's constantly checking your social media, they want to know what you're up to, um, maybe somebody's trying to listen in on your conversation, somebody's checking your phone obsessively, you definitely have, and this could possibly be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or this could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a fellow Virgo. Um, I do feel like it's big emphasis on Pisces, I also feel like for some of you, you have no idea who this is, you don't know who this, who's doing this. Um, I feel like um, who's ever do some of you have somebody who's got a crush on you and maybe like at school they're like videotaping you in class or something so that they can look at you later but um, I wouldn't like freak out about it I mean I know it's like oh, Jamie how could I not freak out about it I feel like they have a crush on you I mean I'm not saying this is good and anybody should do this but I feel like they're doing it because they just want to stare at you they don't have a photograph of you so they got to videotape you <laughs> um, it's gonna be fine I feel like eventually they're gonna reveal who they are like as far as like trying to get to know you talking to you but maybe they just haven't mustered up the courage yet this could be at work this could be at school um, any place where where they see you often but they don't get a chance to really talk to you like that I also feel like some of you might have to make a decision between yourself and a police officer romantically. I feel like some of you have heard some negative things about this police officer, and that's why you don't want to go there. I think you should maybe trust your instincts. Um, yeah. Also with this high priestess, I feel like some of you do have maybe a Pisces or a Scorpio that wants to come back to you, but maybe they're just not being honest. So maybe you're texting or calling a Pisces or a Scorpio, and... Um, and they're not answering you back, so you're like, okay, they must not like me. Or this could be you, Cancer, or Pisces, that's cross-watching, that keeps messaging a Virgo, and you think this Virgo wants nothing to do with you, and maybe secretly they are obsessed with you and in love with you, and they wish that you guys never broke up, or wish that you guys could have had a better shot. But for, for whatever reason, maybe for the reason of, um, of pride, they're not willing to say what it is. I also feel like somebody wants you guys to believe this week, possibly a Gemini, big emphasis on Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius this week, or anybody who's very aloof, or anybody who's not, um, they've got a poker face. You never know what they're thinking or how they really feel. Any Anybody like that. That could be any zodiac sign, but big emphasis on air signs. I feel like some... For some of you, it is somebody, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Scorpio that's got to choose this week if they want you or not, or you're choosing this week if you want them or not. Maybe you have other options and you don't know, know which one to choose. I also feel like some of you are putting your work ahead of love and romance this week. You just don't have time for it. You got enough on your plate and you just you don't have time for any drama, any extras, anything that is not a sure thing. I also feel like... Some of you own your own businesses, and that's another reason why you don't have time for love and romance. And I also feel like some of you are jaded from love and romance, and you don't want to try again because of this tower card. But because the tower card is here at the end, so like let's say this whole week you don't want to find love and romance, you're not interested, um, there could be a tower moment to where your mindset completely changes to where your heart opens up to love and romance, and you're ready and willing for that. So... If you are thinking this week, yeah, is that funny? A tower moment? Oh, no. Okay, so I feel... <laughs>
<laughs> so I feel like for, for those of you this week that are not open to that, you will be. So buckle up because things are about to change in a big way. All right, my Virgos, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. JamieZebra23.com.